I'm here for CHN's quality control. And we will be perfect in every aspect of CHN. You lose the SD card, you're fired. You film without audio, you're fired. You speed up our videos again, and I promise you I will break my foot off your Viking hot parts. Bryce, what is your profession? Getting the best interviews in the West. Ava, what is your profession? Student athlete. Dylan, what is your profession? Being the best editor in the world. Bree, what is your profession? Filming videos and refilming when I mess up. CHN, what is your profession? Oh, 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 oh. What is up, Vikes? Welcome back to CHN. Hope you had a good week. Let's get into the news. AP test is coming up. Here's a message from some of our students. Man, I didn't study for my AP test. Luckily, I ace all of my tests. Hi, Mr. Fisher. I'm ready to take my AP test. Hey, Carrie! You can sit anywhere you want. All right. I should have studied for this. You didn't study for your AP test? You didn't even use flashcards? YouTube review videos? Or not even old test answers? You don't even know what you're doing. Make sure to study for your AP exams. Curtis Place number one in Pierce County. Let's see how we are feeling about it. Yo. Hey, what's up? Oh, what's guys, up? yo, how you feel? Uh, Curtis is the number one high school in Pierce that's County. Crazy, really? That's yeah. crazy, that's bro. Actually, oh, yeah. yeah. I feel like we really deserve it, to be honest with you. I feel like we got a lot of hardworking students here, a lot of hardworking teachers that make sure we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. So I think that led to a lot of our success. You know, I didn't have any doubt. Staff here, the teachers, my classmates, they're just great. Yeah, I think the faculty here is really good, and I want to thank all my teachers. For real? Just How? Is it because of our like sports? great sports or our awesome teachers or our academics? And especially the sports team, you know, go basketball, win for the state, girls bowling team win state too, so yeah. So number, one, number one. So we got the best admin out there. They work their butts off for us. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah. I'm not surprised. When you're number yeah, one, when you're number one, you know it. Exactly. You manifested it. You oh, already yeah. knew no it was surprise. gonna happen. This is a review of Curtis High School's recent production of Arsenic and Old Lace, a play set in Brooklyn, New York, featuring a house owned by two sweet aunts who rent it out to, well, whoever takes the rental offer. However, there is something a bit more sinister to these rentals. Apparently the aunts have been murdering their clients a few times, uh, disguising it as bringing them to peace as they think that doing so will prevent lonely old men from being a little less lonely, and then burying them in their cellar by disguising it as the quote-unquote Panama Kamau, as Teddy thinks it is. The actors did an amazing job when doing this, and I hope you are all excited for the One X and the Junior High's production of I Hate Shakespeare coming soon. We go now to Bryce with sports. Hey, what's up, Bryce? I got Leroy Horton here, and I got Alex Suk on the phone. He couldn't quite make it in today, but we're going to be interviewing them today for our boys' track team as they've been ranked number one in the state for midseason rankings. So I'm just going to ask them a couple questions today as they put a lot of good work in this weekend. Um, we're going to start with Alex. Um, how did you feel when you broke the school record, and like, did you feel like all that hard work had finally paid off or what? Yeah, it felt good. All the hard work we put in during the season, it just felt like it all paid off. Yeah, it's good. Uh, what about you, Roy? Um, when I really broke the school record, we were honestly really happy. We've been working really hard for it. We've been doing a bunch of handoffs, and we kind of saw it like it was kind of a necessity. That's good. So, Alex Suk, you broke the school record on Saturday, and that was a throw of what exactly? It was a 181.2. In the javelin, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, going forward, like, what are your goals for the rest of the season after breaking the school record? 
number one in the nation. You're gonna be number one in the nation. That's a good goal. And Leroy, with uh, the end of the season and state coming up soon, like how do you feel going forward as you were there last year? What are your expectations for this year? Um, my expectations: boys' teams win. Boys' team wins. We should get a good amount of state champions with all of our top athletes in the state. And Alex, what are your uh, what do you feel like going into s- leagues, districts, and state? Like, what's your confidence level? Maybe things you need to work on. Uh, I feel pretty confident that we'll come out really like high. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you for waking up and getting on this call with us, Alex. Yep. No problem. Yep. Okay, that's it, Vikes. We'll see you guys next week for a couple of different athletes. Interview them. Go Vikes. Go Vikes. All right, today we're interviewing the Viking of the Week, and um, who are we here with? Moving Bati. So, Mr. Molinero nominated you. Um, how does it feel? Uh, I feel honored quite a bit. And uh, what did you do to be Viking of the Week? I uh, persevered through my work. I tried hard, and I didn't give up when things were struggling. Good work. Here you go. Thanks for watching. Go Vikes.